This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, uh, good afternoon. And this is an announcement for the new DevOps batch in English, uh, which is going to start from October 3rd morning 6.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. IST. All this, all this meeting information will be there in the, uh, the video description, guys. You can go to the video description. You can find all these details, including the meeting ID. You can just copy this meeting, uh, meeting link and paste in a browser. You can join the meeting by 3rd October, okay? So everything is available in the meeting this in, in the video description. So. Uh, we're going to start a new DevOps batch guys. This is completely in English and it is going to be an online only and we're going to start from the coming Saturday, which is October 3rd guys and my expectation is this will be a 10 weekend course both Saturday and Sunday and we're going to uh, start 630 sharp to 10 a.m. Every day. I mean every each day means uh, Saturday and Sunday. So that will be seven hours per weekend. So 10 weekends approximately you can take like uh, 65 65 to 70 hours in total and we're going to <clears throat> we're going to uh, discuss this in English only. Okay, so next thing is uh, we have the, the prerequisites for this one is you should have a basic understanding about Linux or Windows. You also need to have a basic understanding about AWS or Azure, guys. Let me tell you, this is a pure DevOps training. This is not a cloud training. I'm going to use both AWS and Azure to show you how DevOps can be used. Okay, but these are the basics. And uh, the, the fees is 12,000 for this one and you can pay that in uh, two installments, which is 6,000 uh, Two to 6,000 by the way and you can reach me on this email address and this is my whatsapp number if you want to uh, if, you, if you want to reach out to me Okay, so next thing is uh, this is the meeting ID details before going to that one Let's basically discuss about the syllabus actually so you can find the course curriculum here. So I'm going to copy this and uh, I'm going to go here and access this. <clears throat> so let's see what we're going to discuss. Let me tell you this is a customized syllabus guys. So I customized this one so that uh, I can take the important tools which are being uh, asked by most of the companies outside and I have uh, created this syllabus. So let's understand what we're going to learn out of this course and then what are the tools and uh, having having aws plus devops and azure uh, a curriculum is very good this is this is devops phase one guys this is the phase one training phase two is later uh, that's a different course totally where you're going to talk about kubernetes and python right this is a 60 hour course but this should be actually 65 to 70 hours now if you see i have divided this whole course into eight modules guys you might think less number of modules believe me it's very very deep now the lab one, sorry, the module one, we're going to discuss about, uh, complete about what is a DevOps, as well as we're going to put all our concentration on how the Linux, Hilux, uh, Linux shell scripting will be working. We're going to discuss about how we can use Linux shell scripting from an AWS point of view. We're going to run the CLI commands. How can we automate using the shell scripting? Okay, we're going to we're going to talk everything like how you're going to use a shell scripting in your day-to-day -day activities, the loops, the if statements, and also we're going to discuss about the PowerShell. So we're going to put a lot of uh, emphasis on like it take it will take 10 days to complete this module, guys. So or I can say like uh, I can say like uh, uh, simply like two weekends basically at least. So we're going to put a lot of <coughs> a lot of uh, in Linux shell scripting as well as we're going to also talk about PowerShell scripting. And I'm going to explain this from an Azure perspective. When I'm explaining about the PowerShell, it will be Azure, whereas it's shell scripting, I'm going to talk about from AWS perspective. And we're going to talk about, uh, by the way, we're also going to integrate Jenkins from the module one itself. In module two, we're going to uh, we're going to talk about the version control. I'm going to talk about Git, basically, how the Git works, as well as GitHub, as well as we're going to talk about Git in Azure DevOps at the last, actually. Okay. So this is all about Git. This is the smallest of all the modules, guys. It will it will basically take something like uh, one day, somewhere like four hours, guys. We're going to take four hours to complete this course because we're going to put a lot of concentration on the coming things. This is where things are very very important. Uh, of the shell scripting you need to put a lot of concentration on terraform guys terraform is almost it will take uh, almost like one and a half weekend so totally so we're going to talk about terraform infrastructure as a code how you're going to use it for aws how you're going to do it for azure what is packer how can automate a uh, remote remote backends a lot of things guys it's very very important and let me tell you if you don't have packer uh, or sorry if you don't have terraform on your cv and uh, it's very hard to get shortlisted and after that we're going to talk about docker guys 
we're going to discuss about what is docker this is purely docker guys there is no kubernetes this one you have kubernetes at the last it is for introduction only it is only for introduction only and we're going to discuss about what is docker docker containers as well as docker images networks volumes and we're going to discuss about the native docker swarm cluster if you see we won't talk about docker swarm cluster we won't talk about like rolling updates all these things and we also talk about like couple of hours of uh, what is kubernetes how kubernetes is different from docker what are services pods deployments and everything and then we're going to come to the ansible as well as puppet module 5 and 6 to understand about configuration management so ansible is a very very highly used uh, open source tool whereas uh, puppet is also used by enterprise people so there is also chef but if you're able to manage to learn ansible and puppet right chef will be very easy for you so we're going to discuss about configuration management in ansible how you can manage day-to-day -day activities how you can create the roles all these things as well as we are going to talk about the puppet uh, puppet labs how you create the manifest how we are going to get the roles profiles are we going to talk about like what was the manifest and everything and <clears throat> module 7 and module 8 is going to talk about continuous integration continuous delivery and continuous deployment guys so it will be jenkins we're going to put all of our emphasis on jenkins master and slave architecture having different containers we're going to talk about scripted and declarative pipelines basically okay and uh we, we also need to uh talk about multi-branch pipelines and we're going to integrate uh totally a docker into this one <clears throat> and we also you integrate a, a terraform into this one we'll see end-to-end -end pipeline guys we're going to talk about a project in this one and likewise we are also going to talk about uh, uh, Azure DevOps, which is a very, very important one, because if you are able to complete seven and eight, right, that means you require, you know, two tools. One is uh, Jenkins, which is open source and uh, Azure DevOps, which is highly used by uh, Azure people. So we're going to do a lot <clears throat> in Azure DevOps. We're going to create again, discuss about the gate. We're going to discuss about the build pipelines. We're going to deploy things in Azure containers. We're going to get the artifacts into S3 blobs and we're going to talk about release pipelines. We're going to talk about deployment groups. By the way, we're going to talk about like agent pools custom agents and also we're going to talk about like how you integrate with active directory on all these things. So totally totally you can see it is a eight modules my expectation is it will take 10 weekends maybe it will take additional one weekend as well but but uh, if you are able to if you are able to do this guys then you are very good with the devops and i, I think i think if you know about uh, aws or azure along with the devops right so you'll get a very good knowledge and this only talks about the it only talks about the devops guys and the aws course is different and devops course is different and uh, you have this meeting id just copy this meeting id and paste in the browser and you will be joining the course guys okay so thank you for watching and we're going to talk everything about in the training and uh, let's uh, let's meet up by 3rd of october and thank you guys happy learning bye bye